Hello guys, let's get our third um, second circuit done by this time we're using uh, the double acting cylinder so again this is pneumatics so let's click we, we click on pneumatics let's pick double acting cylinder here and then uh, let's go and get our supply element I'll drop that one somewhere here let's go and get our <coughs> directional valve I'll pick configurable 5 to here and then uh, I need again configurable 3 to valves I need 2 but in the meantime I'll pick 1 so let me configure this cylinder if you want to do so you just double click on that and I have double clicked on that I will change identification to cylinder A because cylinders are given the uh, <coughs> identification A, B, C depending on the number of cylinders and then just um, click on configure cylinder I can do so many things here I can just take this uh, if I click on that I take those questions off take it and then uh, take that just type of thing also off and I will say okay but you can also you know change the position of the cylinder by moving this that way it depends on which position the cylinder is uh, um, that you want to probably place it for the actual work you are planning to do so I will take it back to this uh, origin there the depth, depth the bottom depth center I want, I, I want it to remain there then I'll click OK then I will come and configure this the 5 to valve here I give the identification as uh, V1 and I will configure the valve so you know I decide what to operate it is on the left hand side here and what to operate it from on the right hand side here is also on here and I want it to be operated pneumatically on both left and right hand sides so I click and select pneumatic here also I click and select pneumatic but in case I do any mistake and I want to probably get rid of it if I want it electrical and I click on pneumatic I can pull this back and click on uh, the empty space with the blank space and change and pick whatever I want but actually I need pneumatic so I have to click and uh, get that one back on and that is all that I need for now so I will uh, say <coughs> you can also change this here by making it uh, 5 to you can just make it 5 to valve and click on OK now the next bit is you know number one always goes to the number one always goes to the compressor so number five and number three are for the exhaust so if we take a case that it goes green and then double click on that and then give it any of the exhaust there and when you take it close to number five it goes green as well just double click and give it the exhaust so that the exhaust so that the air can be exhausted to the atmosphere now click on this one here number four and take it to the side of the cylinder click on number two and take it to the side of the cylinder now let's configure this uh, three two valve here so i'm just going to do that and i will change the end to two because three two now uh, i'll give this as v2 because that's also a valve and then the next bit that i will do is to configure the valve so i click on configure valve and i want to operate it this way and that way so this left hand side is for that right hand side is for that here so i would pick manual operation and i'll pick string return and i guess that should be okay here now let me just take this up a bit here so that I can now connect number one to the compressor because I've told the number ones are always for the compressor now number three is exhaust so do double click on it and just pick the exhaust now connect 
click on this drag and connect to this side. Now select this and copy. When you click on it, when you click on it, it selects. So just click on it and right click. So you left click and right click to copy and right click to paste and just bring that one here let's take number one to this and let's for we got the exhaust there yes we got the exhaust there already so this is all ready to go well you can add your uh, part list just click on insert and then click on the part list and then it comes with it Dump, and then click inside here and you see it's all done it for you it's done it for you so you got everything here and everything all the components are listed on the part list here next time i'll show you how to configure and take some of this uh, columns away from the part list now double click on the compressor and just identify it as it and there you go you can also just change this to yeah that's free too so yeah we've got all the all of them configured nicely there now if you want to simulate just click on this and press this to simulate to yeah simulate and then press this to return you know this valve here the 52 valve is a memory valve okay why is it memory valve? it is so because when you press it stores the information it stays here until another signal is given for it to change its position okay and the reason why we are using this three two valves is that sometimes the five two require so much energy that we cannot use our human effort to do that so we can use five sorry three tools which we can operate okay to operate these five tools the reason also being based on the pascal principle because the pressure inside here on going through the three two and going through the five two are the same so even though small effort here the pressure coming from the five sorry the three two is greater enough to operate the five two thank you very much for watching and expect another video from me